The 2024 lawn season has been brutal here in Northeast Indiana. For most of the summer, we struggled with high temps and drought conditions throughout the entire area. I also struggled with fungus and grubs on the lawn. I planned a full overseed in the middle of August and some subsequent overseed repairs in September and October to repair some damaged areas. We're finally nearing the end of lawn season as I record this video and it's time to share the results of my overseeding this year, so stay tuned. I don't overseed this lawn every season. I only do it when conditions really make it necessary like they did this year. As I said earlier, we've suffered from drought-like conditions for the last several months here in the area. I don't have an in-ground irrigation system, but I do water my lawn with my own homemade irrigation system. If you want more information on what I use, I linked a video in the corner above overviewing my homemade irrigation setup. Be sure to check it out. With the drought, irrigation, heat, and humidity, the lawn really struggled this season when I had a fungus outbreak. Even though I apply preventative fungicide treatments to the lawn, Mother Nature always wins when it comes to lawn disease. The high humidity and temperatures overnight really brought an outbreak of dollar spot in July. Now I battled this the best I could with fungicide, but some areas suffered damage and needed repaired. It appeared we had a break in the weather in the middle of August with some unseasonably cool temperatures for a few weeks, so I decided to pull the trigger and overseed. I did my normal process of dethatching and overseeding, but this season I used the Brindley Spike Aerator to help push that seed down further into the soil, and it really helped with germination. It also helped aerify the soil slightly to get more air, water, and nutrients down to the seeds. I seeded with the Resilience 2 Fescue Seed from Twin City Seed on my first round in August, and it germinated quickly and looked impressive, and it also came up with very nice color. That was until the heat and humidity rose again and I got a bad case of dollar spot from all the water that I was putting down to keep the new seed moist. I had to pivot quickly and apply a curative fungicide treatment and I rented a stand-on aerator to give the lawn a good aeration and let it breathe. After this, I seeded the lawn again to repair the damaged areas in early September and once again I used the Brinley Spike Aerator to help get that seed down into the soil. This time I used the Blackout Elite Tall Fescue Seed and I was blown away with the results. The germination was fast and the color was absolutely phenomenal. Now on a side note here, I want to address a question I get asked a lot in relation to when do I fertilize after I overseed. Me personally, I always wait to fertilize after I overseed until those new seeds start to germinate, which for fescue is typically between seven and 10 days. This helps not to drive top growth on the existing grass and choke out that new seed that I planted. I found this method is helpful in making my overseeding jobs more successful. If you found this video helpful so far, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Thanks. Now after the second overseed, I continued to water the lawn due to the drought and the new seed established really well. I found some grub damage out on the curb strip by the street and I repaired that area at the end of September. I applied a 24 hour grub killer and I seeded it and it's really repaired itself well and filled in nicely. As I record this video, it's the end of October and we're about 12 weeks out from the original overseed job and about seven weeks out from the last full overseed. The results really speak for themselves. I couldn't be happier with how things turned out, especially given the disease issues and the severe drought and unusually warm temperatures that we've had this season. The lawn is thick and the color is absolutely phenomenal. The mixture of these two seed blends with my existing lawn has been seamless and you can't even tell that I overseeded. It looks like it's just been a great lawn from the start. If you're suffering damage to your lawn from any of the conditions that I discussed in this video, overseeding your cool season lawn in the fall can really be a game changer in getting it in top shape for next spring. This year was odd and having to repeat the seeding process more than once, but sometimes you have to roll with the punches and with whatever mother nature throws your way. This is the first time that I recall having to repeat my work due to disease and I really hope it never happens again. 
That said, this is typically something you can achieve from start to finish on a small lawn like mine on a Saturday with a few hours of work and it will pay dividends in the aesthetics of your lawn and you'll be so happy that you took the time to do it. If you're interested in any of the products that I discussed in this video and the products that I like to use for overseeding, check the description of this video below for more information. If you have more questions on the overseeding process and how to have success when overseeding, I've also linked a few videos that I've done in the past in the description, so be sure to check those out for more information. I'll also throw this out there. The products that I list below are just products that I've had success with in the past. I could really care less if you buy them or not. I'm just trying to share your information to help people out. The big thing is, is find a product that you like, a specific grass seed or fertilizer, and if it works for you, great. Use that product. If you have success with it, it's mainly just finding something that you like and something that is something that brings you success in the lawn. And if you have those two things, everybody's going to use different stuff. You just want to find stuff that works. The season is winding down, so this may be my last lawn video of 2024 as I transition into winter related content. I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you that has watched my videos this season and in seasons past and found these videos helpful. You're the reason why I keep posting content, so thank you. I appreciate you watching as always, and I hope to see you next time, out in the lawn.